Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hawaii in Real Life. We're here with Randy Kuba, um, whom I met a couple of weeks ago when we were working on the Awamori Festival preview on Nasa Honolulu. And at that time, I got interested in Awamori because it's kind of a, well not new, but um, new to Hawaii. And a lot of people don't know about it, and I thought, you should know about it. <laughs> Plus, Christmas is next week, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. if you're looking for something for the person who has everything, or yeah. something that they probably wouldn't buy for themselves, I thought this would be a good thing to try. So, mm -hmm. uh, that being said, what is Awamori? Well, it's a distilled spirit from Okinawa, and then uh, it's indigenous to Okinawa, and it's made out of uh, Thai indigo rice, and it's probably the best kept secret uh, in the Asian distilled spirits um, world now. Uh, there's no preservatives, and um, it's uh, gluten-free. It is. Yeah, I researched it. <laughs> gluten-free. And, you know, it's naturally made. And um, it's one of the purest distilled spirits that you can find in the market today. Yeah. Oh, what, what makes it so good? Though? Does it have a distinct flavor? Uh, yeah. It, uh, there's about 47 distillers in Okinawa. There's about 600 brands. And um, I kind of specialize in aged awamori because... Um, I was just impressed with how they age it in their homes, just like how you're going to see. And as long as you age it, it gets better, it gets smoother, the texture gets better, the aroma gets better, the longer you age it. And that's basically what makes it unique, in my opinion. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I noticed we were talking earlier about how you age it. So it's done in these clay pots? Yeah, it's uh, done in uh, what they call kame. It's a ceramic pot. And it's a specially made pot for aging. So it has to be a combination of earthenware and uh, stoneware and it's the secret of the Okinawan ceramic people that you know how they fire it up and the, the clay that they get it they get it usually from the oldest part of the earth and that's what makes it uh, 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 usable to age the awamori and so this clay is also indigenous to Okinawa yeah they don't it's, it's all made in Okinawa because I've been trying to find somebody in Hawaii that knows how to make the ceramic, so that it can be bo both porous and stoneware, but I can't seem to find that person, and I'm still looking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, okay, mm -hmm. so good to know. And mm -hmm. it, the taste, like, um, you know how sake has different, different. Com there's clean, and then there's those complex flavors. Does Aomori mm -hmm. have the same properties? It's yeah, it depends on where you get the Aomori from. You know, the north, the south, the central, oh. and the water is different in each part. The climate is different. It's subtropical in Okinawa. So what makes it unique in each area is, is the taste. Okay. So when you age it in the ceramic pot, then um, the taste matures and re refines to that area. So some is sweet, some is dry, some just like wine. Just like wine. Oh, neat. And so there's a lot of various uh, uh, methods of making awamori. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, if we wanted to get awamori from you, how do we do that? You can just go on my website, uh, www.lotusspirits.com. Okay. So two S's. And then it has all the information on there, how to order. All, all you do is just call me up. And because it's such a specialty item, I just prefer somebody call me up and then I'll just deliver it or deliver it through the legal means. Okay. Yeah. And so um, what would happen is I would call you, say, Randy, I want to order this, this, and this off your site. Mm -hmm. And then you would send it to... A store like Don Quixote, Tamora's. Right, uh, right. Because legally it has to be license to license. So my license to another retailer or a restaurant. And then you just pick it up there. Okay. You order to me, I just pick it up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's not sold on the shelves just because it's so, so specialized that people are just going to. Yeah, it's specialized. Nobody really knows about it. So, you know, um, yeah. It's a best kept <laughs> secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you want to learn more about Aomori, um, check out his website. Also, since the Aomori Festival is already done, you got to wait till next year. Next year, <laughs> December 11th. Okay. Oh, see, you already have the date. December 11th, and, next year. Um, you get to sample different Aomoris, um, some aged two years, some aged 12 years. Um, well, a lot of them are aged, uh, a good Aomori is between 3 to 10 years. And then they have as much as 20 years, 30 years, up to 60 years, but that's really expensive. But, um, and I'm importing the 10-year Aomori into Hawaii uh, shortly. But the ones that I have now, it's in a warehouse, is about uh, 18 months. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. good to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. now click the link below and we're going to talk to Randy some more about Aomori, uh, what kind of people usually drink it, although you might want to try it yourself, and um, just more about the, the process. Okay? Thank you. Okay.